Hi, I'm Sarah from Boating New Zealand. When you think about style married with performance, sports cars often come to mind. And so it was with Slovenian boatmaker Elan when they wanted to create the GT6. They went to Studio FA Porsche and Humphreys Yacht Design to create a boat that has both a lot of style and a really great performance edge. Let's go for a sail. The GT6 is Elan's new flagship 15.2 metre performance cruising yacht with interior and exterior styling by Studio FA Porsche, the design arm of the automotive giant. But the collaboration is not about adding flashy flared bodywork or add-ons, but working with naval architects Humphreys Yacht Design to make good even better. The yacht is certainly eye-catching with a pronounced hard chine running the length of the hull and a stylish eyebrow over the through hull windows. The top sides are high, enabling the cabin top to be low profile and the deck to be completely flush forward of the mast. The decks are kept clear with all sheets of control lines running aft to the cockpit and channels below the decks, which are finished in hard wearing synthetic teak. Add to this the charcoal DCX sails and black Dodger and Bimini, and this is a smart looking package. The GT line of crossover yachts are designed to deliver the full power of a racing yacht with all the comforts and easy handling of a cruiser rather than the compromise of a cruiser racer. The GT6 is also designed to be easy to operate for a short-handed crew and for that reason the sailing systems are centralised aft by the twin helms. The main sheet is on a continuous or German system running from a bridle down to the deck forward of the Dodger and there are short tracks for the overlapping jib near the front of the cabin, but otherwise the side and fore decks are completely clear. The large racer type steering wheels are mounted on pedestals which angle out from the cockpit sides and feature a Kiwi innovation. Instead of the Raymarine nav screens being flat mounted on the top, which can make them hard to read in sunshine, they are fitted upright on adjustable pods. The cockpit makes the most of the yacht's considerable 4.49 metre beam, with a fold-out table on each side and a large central underfloor locker. A generous boarding platform operated on a purchase system forms the yacht's transom when closed and drops down for easy access to the water when at the dock. There's plenty of room for a large crew to sit around and relax. Down below, the yacht has an inverted layout, with the saloon at the bottom of the stairs and the galley forward, ranging across both sides of the boat. On the port side is the three burner gas hob and oven, underbench, fridge and freezer, and the sink and more storage is to starboard. This boat has a three cabin layout with a double cabin aft on each side and a large master cabin forward. The master cabin has its own spacious head and shower compartment. The day head and shower are on the starboard side, at the rear of the saloon by the base of the steps. The bleached oak cabinetry and pale upholstery keep the interior light and bright, as do plenty of through hull and higher cabin top windows, together with large skylights above the galley. With a cast of friends and family aboard, we head off out of West Haven Marina and into a fresh late summer day. The addition of an optional bow thruster makes it easy to get in and out of the marina berth, and the simple sail handling systems and a powered hark and winch also make it easy to get the sails up and sailing. The airline is responsive without being sensitive, settling into the groove and being satisfyingly light on the helm. Visibility forward is good from either wheel, with a clear and comfortable view of main and jib from windward, and down the uncluttered side deck to the jib when steering from leeward. The boat accelerates smoothly on the bearaway 
and sits at a comfortable angle without excessive heel, thanks to its wide transom and carefully placed chine. The twin rudders provide excellent grip, and even in the puffs, the yacht remains stable and feels in control. This yacht's owner is chuffed with his new toy, and rightly so. The GT6's combination of style and performance tick a lot of boxes and will certainly turn a few heads. John Ackleson from Boating New Zealand. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you'd like to see more of these videos, please subscribe to our channel.